Hello, once again, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step and general IT tricks and techniques. Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updated anytime we upload a new content. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a fillable form in Microsoft Word. What is a fillable form? Basically, you may like to create a form that you can send out to clients in order to fill and then request for some particular services from you okay so we are going to do that in my screen right now what you can see is microsoft office word 2019 do is that i need to access a new tab okay so for me to enable a tab i want to provide some form of restrictions within the form when i send the form i don't expect anybody to edit that form so i want to enable developer option within my microsoft option so in that case i need to enable a new tab when i right click on my ribbon i go to customize ribbon i have to come down here to developer and then enable developer once i click on that you notice i have a new tab called developer so this is the option in which i'm going to use to make the changes or to create my form so the next thing i'm going to do is that i want to add some banner to the header of my form what i'm going to do is that i need to insert image so i'll go to pictures go to the insert tab and I want to pick this from my drive. Okay, I have a form over here. I have a banner over here which I'm going to use. I'll just double click on this and I've added this as a header. I can't move this around because it's a static image. I could have added this through a text box and it's going to work perfectly. But in order to move this image, I can just go to the format tab, go to wrap text and then I'll go to in front of text. When I click on this, you notice that this image is now movable. I want to make some few adjustments to my layout. So I'll go to what layout and margins and then I'll pick what narrow down. Okay, I want something like this. So I'm just going to stretch this image a bit and then I have something perfect down here. So what I'm going to do down, what I'm going to do next is to provide some bit of information about the form. So then let me just go and give the title. So let me just say Agitech. So I'm just going to type Agitech. Agitech Hub. I'm going to do this one as a title. I'll center align. Control it will center align. So I prefer using shortcut key. Or you can just go to the home tab. Go to the paragraph option and then select what center align. Then I'm going to change my font size to something around 20. And then yeah, and then I'm going to bold in this. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to insert a table down here. Okay, I'm going to insert a table and then I can start making requesting for information from my users what i want to do first is to get a person's first name so i want to insert a table if i go to insert table and i just need two columns okay so over here i want to provide i want to enter a text over here. so let's say user let's say your name okay your full name let's make it your full name So you are making your full name. I don't want to make this bold. I just want to remove the bold from there. Control B will just remove the bold. Or you can just go to the home tab and then click on the B and then it will go. So what I want to do is that I want to ask the person to enter the name over here. So over here I could have just allowed the person to do that. But I want this form to be very uh, active. Okay. So I will go to my developer tab and over here I have what you call I have what you call the rich text and then I also have what the plain text i would prefer using the plain text so this option over here allow the person to type start typing the the name and this is going to work perfectly like i said i don't i don't want it to be bold and i have to remove that from there okay so this is actually working i've added my text over here and a person can click and then start typing the and then this is going to work so the next thing i want to do is to also allow the person to give us a type of services i want to create a new a new row for that one of my first row hit enter to get what a new row in this case i want to ask the person type of services so let's just go ahead and say type of let's say type of service so you want to know the type of service the person wants okay so let me just lay one of these off from here the type of service and in this case what i want to do is that i want it to be a checkbox i want a person to be able to check 
so what I'm going to do let me reduce the font size let me just send it to around 16 so the first thing I'm going to list my services so let's say web design and then we also have let's say graphic design let's also say we have software development we also have digital marketing okay so I'm listing my services so video editing editing and now last let's say IT training okay so these are my services and I want the user to be able to click on check boxes to prove to select the services the user want so when I click before this I'll just go back to my developer tab and then you notice I have a checkbox over here and I click on the checkbox I'm adding the checkbox I'm going to do that for all okay I'm going to do that for all look at what is happening the user can select the services he or she want and this form can be printed sent back to me or just through email when i click over here you notice i'm able to make some selection when you click on each of the checkbox or any of the checkboxes you can easily go to properties and then even provide the option the check symbol that you want i can change this to another symbol when i click on this symbol and then and i go back here you notice how this is looking so when a user select this you notice how this is going to look like so you can easily do that customization if you want i'm going to stick to the default one by going to properties and then okay you can select any option you can stick to the default one like i said you can equally do that okay so what i'm going to do now is i've given the option for the user to be able to give the services the user wants the person can select it from my list the type of services he or she wants so what next do we want let's also ask the user to let's find out how the user got to know so after we ask the user to make an option select any of the services let's also find out how the user so let's find out how the user got to know about us so let's say how did you hear about us okay so let's say how did you hear about us okay so let's ask the user that question and i'm going to provide a drop down list so i prefer to use the prefer to use the combo box to the the drop down list because if i use the drop down list the user cannot give additional options assuming it's not part of the list but i want to also give the user the flexibility assuming the list what the, what the user got to know about us is not part of our list the user should be able to type that in this case i'm going to use a combo box when i click on the combo box you notice right now i don't have anything within my combo box i'll go to properties and then provide those options so if i can just click on add so the display name let's say my display name let's say social media social media okay so i'm going to add my first one i can also go ahead and then say uh, let's see billboard let me just say billboard let me add a few more let's see newspaper and let's also see from a friend okay and then last let's see order okay But in this case i'm going to leave the order out out i'm going to leave the order out because i the user can easily type in other platform as well so when i click on ok and i come down here it does have my list over here so the user can select any of this by assuming the user is not part of the list maybe how the user got to know about about us is not part of this list the user can just go ahead and then type in anything over here so notice the user can easily type this our own option let's say the user got to know about true maybe uh, a news magazine or whatever okay the user can easily type but if assuming we use the what if we use the dropbox the user will not have that kind of flexibility okay that's perfectly as we want the next thing is let's also ask the user for a contact so we can also add a new option again and say what contact and then 
over here we can also go back and use what the contact we want to also provide a contact and we also want the user to be able to type this or a contact in that particular order then last thing not last but not the least okay so after you that type in the contact you can also go ahead and then let's also ask the user for email so we can also go in and ask for email of the user and also we go with the same plain text so let's also find out from the user how the user want to be called okay how do we contact you so let's say preferred mode of contact so I, I think this time around we can go with the dropbox okay we we'll go with the dropbox we are just going to provide the email and the other contact so the user should select one of them so we can also easily go and say email we add this and then we finally add what let's say phone okay okay in that order so the user can easily select any of this option you see with this one the user will not be able to enter any additional option so exactly that's what he wants we've done something amazing so far let's also ask the user for the preferred date so let's say the user wants a specific date in which he or she want these services to be delivered so let's say preferred date and then over here we can also go ahead and then we can add date from here so if you come here we have date picker you can easily add that when the user can click and then pick a date okay so this option is also available anytime you add any of these properties you can easily go to you add any of the command you can easily go to properties and do that form of adjustment okay so we've been able to create very simple form in which you can use and then we can send to our contact and then we can easily get we can easily request for services that they want from us we can easily do that so this is editable the user can easily select the options you want notice i've changed this property that's why you're seeing that so when i uncheck all this you see what is happening we can provide any of the symbols that you want we can easily add you have the drop down option the user can select the user prefer to be called through email or contacted through email or through phone so you can all use this and then that is good okay so over here we have everything set we can also restrict the user so what we want to do is when we send this form to the users we don't want these users to be able to be able to do any editing in that option we need to provide some form of restriction so we don't want the user to do any editing over you notice i can easily change over here to agitate i can change anything over here so let's also restrict the user so within the developer option i can easily go to restrict editing and over here you notice that allow restrictions i need to check this and then the only option I want is to fill in of this form so the user will not be able to fill. Look at what is going to happen now. So once I click on this, when I click over, I'll go to start enforcement. So notice what is going to happen. I need to, after selecting this, I need to go to start enforcement. I can provide password for this. Okay, right now I've not provided any password. So you see what is happening. The user can only enter information where I cannot do anything. I can, can easily set password. So if I go here right now, you notice that Azure Tech is no more editable. I can't do anything over here. I can only enter information. Look at all this. Look at the email. I can't edit anything. So I've restricted this from the user. I've actually restricted this. So you can use this option to get information from your client. You can easily send this form out and then the services they expected from you, you can easily make that. So we've restricted. No change can be done to any of these text you can't do any editing we've restricted this actually okay so the, that is what i want to show you in this video remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload what a new content thank you so much for watching this video. leave your comment below and share this video with your friends bye bye